This right here is our triple machine gun bunker in Sprocket. Today, we are not going to be playing with this thing, but I figured I'd shout it out. So, if you guys want to check out how well this thing worked, it worked really well, but check out our previous video where we actually ended up building it and testing it a little bit. This thing can take out tiger tanks. It was really cool. Anyway, what we're going to do today is build a light tank that is capable of winning some missions. Now, I would say that this thing won't die, but it's a light tank so we probably will. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to building. Alright, so this tank is actually going to be an early war tank. I feel like early war tanks, I don't know, it just makes sense to do it that way. So let's do that. We'll go to freeform hulls and we'll get one of those. We're also going to make it a lot shorter than normal. Let's go with like 4 meters long. That is not very long, but um, yeah, that seems like it'll do quite well. We're going to lower this guy down at the back. We're going to make these guys right here into... In fact, actually, I never use this suspension. So let's go with this. Uh, we'll obviously scale it down a hell of a lot. There we go. And hopefully that's nice. I do think that's going to be pretty good. So there we go. Let's uh, let's do it like that. All right. That guy can't be on the ground, obviously. Um, but yeah, that actually looks pretty nice. So let's go to layout. Yes. We'll go to spacing of the road wheels. And I don't know. We'll give them a little bit of space. There we go. That honestly looks... That looks pretty good. I think this is going to work out really nicely. Uh, with that being said, let's go through each of these and try and make them look pretty as well. We're going to go with uh, these guys all round. I feel like they're a little bit strange, but actually really cool. So we'll go with those on literally every single one of them. We're going to go with these guys as well. Let's go ahead and make the thickness, I don't know, only like 80 millimeters. There you go, which isn't too thick. We usually go with way bigger than that. The length of these guys is only going to be 100, which is a hell of a lot shorter. Actually, no. Let's go at 150. There we go. And then the width of these guys is going to be 325. 325. There we go. And honestly, that looks sick. So, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and move the separation in as well. Let's go to 1.3. And we'll make a tank out of that. Nice. Alright, so there we go. That honestly looks pretty good to me. I really kind of like that, actually. It looks, it looks good. Anyway, let's go to compartments. Let's go to faces. And we'll send this guy backwards, of course. There we go. Very nice. We're then going to go to the underside of this, and we're going to send that guy backwards like that. We're going to go to faces. We're going to drag this guy forwards, probably to about there, where we'll extend it. We'll bring it backwards just a little bit. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. We can then drop that down to be level with at the bottom. There we go, something like this. And then we can extend it backwards from there to, I don't know, maybe here? Maybe a little bit further forwards. There we go. That honestly looks pretty good to me. So, we're going to go ahead and drop this down. There we go. We're going to do it again. And we're going to try and round off the back end. That looks alright. Uh, and then we're going to have to sort out what we're going to do with the top as well. So, I'm going to drop this down even further. Okay, I'm going to extend it a little bit more. Just like so. We're going to angle this bit backwards a lot, to be honest. Actually, no, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Drop this down a little bit. Alright, cool. I'm going to angle this a tiny bit this way. We're then going to extend it again. Here we go. Upwards a little bit more than that, I guess. Yep. And then this guy is going to be extended backwards really far. And from the side, this looks horrible. But from the front, I think it'll actually end up looking pretty good. I'm actually going to send this guy backwards a little bit more. Going to bring all of it upwards, I think. Actually, no. Let's leave it like that. Yeah, let's leave it like that. But actually, we'll bring it all forwards a bit. So grab this one, this one, and this one. And we'll do this. Hey, there we go. Yeah, what do we think of that? This could be cool. Okie dokie. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and extend this guy upwards a little bit as well. We're then going to go ahead and angle this guy backwards. Uh, just a little bit like so. And we're going to extend it over the edges as well. Which, again, might be a little bit odd. But don't worry about it too much. We're then going to grab these two, send them forwards to about there. We're going to grab this one and this one, send it backwards to about here. And I might extend all of this upwards. Maybe just the center. Oh. Oh, that's a weird looking thing. <laughs> that is really strange looking. Um, but yeah, I was thinking we do it like this. Which, yes, is a very, very odd looking vehicle. But you know, I kind of like odd looking vehicles. So let's keep it. Okay, so what is actually the next most important thing on this thing? I guess it's actually the engine. So we're going to go ahead and start putting the vents on for this. And I was thinking we could actually slot a full-on one of these uh, across the back of here. 
Now, I don't know whether this will look right in the end, but I want to, like, extend it sideways. Pretty much just like this, to the edge. And I think that looks alright. Maybe. I don't know whether it looks a little bit weird there. I am going to push it slightly sideways, which means it is slightly over to one side. But I don't think I mind that. I'd also really like one of these guys uh, positioned right here, and we'll just have it really big. I say really big. Actually positioned probably just like this. There we go. So that is the back end. I think that's cool. I actually really do think that's cool. We're going to go ahead and make these guys a lot smaller as well. There we go. Go ahead and do this. And we'll put those guys right there like that. Nice. Alright, so I was just looking at this guy right here, and I was thinking, I don't know whether we'll actually be able to put a driver in there, but then I guess if we look at it and we use this driver's seat instead, uh, we totally can. So let's just go ahead and put these guys on there like that. Go ahead and make them a lot longer so they actually fit within this thing. I'm going to make them slightly wider, and I am going to push this guy backwards into there just a little bit. That looks, that looks okay to me. Uh, from there, I don't mind actually adding a gunner to the passenger. Or slash radio man, I guess. So that's going to go there like that. And then we might add one of these guys to the top, but probably not. Probably not. I also really like the idea of adding one of these guys really big on the front of here. So let's do this. I'm then going to angle it so it actually fits. And hopefully it looks, looks good. There we go. So angle it like that, kind of. Go ahead and drop it down. And push it backwards a little bit. And then push it up. There we go. We're going to have like a box mounted to the front. That's cool. That, that actually looks like it fits. Good. Okay, lights are next. Let's go ahead and have two of these guys. We'll mount them just there like this. I do like pushing them in, so we're going to go ahead and push them in like that. Going to move them over slightly, and then we are going to use these guys again, like we always do, uh, as little sort of like, I don't know, defenders. <laughs> defenders of the light! That's what we're going to call those guys. It gives a little bit of detail and honestly just looks better. So we're going to go with that. Utilities. We do like adding these guys as well. So we're going to do this right here. Uh, just like that. There we go. And then I really like adding these guys to the front ends like this. So we're going to make them really big. So that they sort of fit there. We're then going to squidge them in. So we're going to do this until they are fully squidged. I don't know. Sometimes... Sometimes this is easy to do, sometimes it just doesn't work. But there we go, they are squidged in. And then we're going to go ahead and push them backwards a little bit until they merge in. There we go. Honestly, I think that's that's a, a nice looking thing. I always add these, but they're cool. Okay, one of the next things I wanted to add was these guys. They're just going to be like flat panels that are going to go on the side of this thing. Uh, we're going to add, I don't know, like three of them if I could fit them. Maybe just two. There we go. And then I'm going to squidge this one like so. We can then try and put it in the right place, which I believe is there-ish? Yeah. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. We'll just leave them like that. From there, I actually really like these guys as well. We're going to go ahead and put that guy right there. Oh, did I not put those on both sides? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. That's really annoying. So I have to replace these on both ends. There we go. There's one. There's two. And... There's three. We're then going to grab one of these guys, and we're going to put that on the side around there. There we go. Lovely. That might actually have to go at the top rather than the bottom, because I think that'll look better. Yeah. Sick. Okay, I put some of those panels on the front as well, and I am going to add these guys to each side of the driver and the passenger's view, because, uh, again, I feel like it adds a little bit of detail that otherwise would be lacking. We're going to shove these guys on the sides right here as well. There we go. And that is a bunch of detail added to this thing without a gun or any armor or anything useful, actually. So uh, we got to sort that out next. Okie dokie, here we go. It is time for a turret. So we're going to do this very similar to other turrets that we've done. It is going to be very rounded because I really like rounded turrets. I don't ask me why. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to select all of these guys. We're going to shrink them to there. There we go. And that is actually fine. We're then going to extend it out the front and continue shrinking it, making it a circle. And then once we've done all of that, I don't know. I don't know what we do from there. I guess we need a gun. So we'll probably add a gun to this thing. Um, but yeah, keep shrinking this as we go. There we go. Nicely done. And nicely done right there. Let's extend these guys backwards as well. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. All right, that's probably all of it for the sides. Let's go to this guy really quickly and push it inward slightly. There we go. 
We're going to make it smooth. And we are going to lower it down, because at the minute, it is very high. Very, very high, actually. There we go, grab all of those. Drop it down. There we go. We're just going to drop it down quite far. We're then going to angle it, so we're going to extend this, bring it upwards a little bit. And we're going to try and angle it inwards. So, we're going to bring it... No! Didn't mean to do that. Alright, we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. There we go. And then we're going to go to the side pieces, probably around here. Grab that one, that one, and that one, and that one. And we're going to bring those outwards. Kind of like this, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, but I don't know. I've seen it on some other tanks before, and I kind of like it. So I'm going to try and do it on this one, whether it looks good or bad. We'll just go ahead and poke it out the side. Um, and then I think I'm going to try and extend the back end as well. So I'm going to grab that one, that one, that one, and that one. And this one, I suppose. And we're going to drag that backwards to there. We're then going to go to each of these. And these. There we go. And we're going to extend this back over a little bit. How much have I grabbed of that one? Did I go all the way out to there? No way. Yeah, I guess I did. Okay, extend this backwards. There we go. Bring it backwards like so. Angle this downwards like this. Angle it inwards like that. There we go. And overall, we've got a wonky... We've got a very wonky turret. Kind of cool, though. Nah, that's ugly. I don't know what I've done there. Something is slightly broken. <laughs> Something is slightly broken. I'm not sure what it is, though. Um, yeah. That's kind of annoying. That's very annoying, actually. Alright, let's grab each of these. Send it backwards like this. Here we go. Just like that. Uh, drag it downwards a little bit. We're then gonna, I don't know, squidge it inwards. Just a tiny touch. And I think I'm gonna go to the bottom side of each of these. Excluding that guy, and I'm gonna extend it down. That looks weird. That looks very weird. I don't know how to feel about it. I really don't. Um, maybe that's okay. I don't know whether... No, we're going to leave it like that. That is a that is a chunky thing. I think it's okay, though. Okay, I think I fixed it a little bit anyway. So, uh, I think we are going to leave it pretty much just like that. It's very strange, but at the same time... I think it's going to work out. I might even drop this guy downwards on this side, which means this guy needs to be dropped down a little bit. And I think that will be a-okay, maybe. It's just not mirrored. That That is the main thing that's wrong with this. It isn't mirrored. But we're going to go ahead and keep it anyway. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a cannon, shove it on there, and we'll go from there. I really like these ones, so I think I'm going to go ahead and shove that onto that like that. Uh, it would be a really good idea to actually angle most of this as well. So, if I can, I'm going to go to the front section of all of these. Including the... Yeah, those bits. Let's go ahead and do this. And that's going to look weird. I might actually try and go around the bottom side as well. And actually drag those guys forwards. Because... Yeah, so let's do this. There we go. Gives it a way different angle, but actually looks really good. Alright, cool. So, let's go to firepower, grab this guy, put it back on there, just like that. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, uh, we don't want a massive gun on this thing. We're going to go with a 57 mil. There we go. Uh, the length of the propellant is going to be quite big. We're going to go with 750. That means the length of the barrel of the gun actually needs to be quite long, unfortunately. Unfortunately for us. So, we're going to do this. That looks nice. That looks really nice. There we go. Drop it backwards a little bit, and there we go. So this is our light tank. Currently only weighs 8 tons. I think we're going to go up to about 17, something like that. And then we can go from there, into an actual battle. Okay, so uh, after all the armor was added, we are sitting at 16 tons, which honestly is less than what I was expecting. But also, we're going to need a little bit of a bigger engine for this. We're going to go up to 8 cylinders. Um, unfortunately, we don't really have enough room for that, because it is a little tank, so let's go to fuel really quickly, get rid of a bunch of that. We're only going to go with 50 liters, actually 25 liters, a very small amount of fuel. We will add a fuel tank somewhere, don't worry about that too much, uh, and that'll be okay. So, in fact, actually, let's go ahead and get this, and attach this to the back right here like this. We can then actually probably attach two of these guys back here, although, actually... We don't want it on the exhaust, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and add one. 
over to the side like this. This isn't something I would generally do, but I don't know. I feel like it looks quite cool here. So we'll do that like that. Weird. Very, very weird. But that gives us an extra 72 liters. So we're up to about 100 liters altogether, which isn't bad. Does it move? Yes, it does. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to go to crew. We're going to go to viewports. We're going to need a gunner. So we're going to go ahead and shove this guy right here like this. We'll then move it off to the side. We're going to need a commander's coupler. I really like these ones. So I'm actually going to go ahead and try and shove this over here like that. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and squidge it a little bit. Not too much, though. There we go. And that looks good. All right. Antenna, let's go ahead and give it one of those. What else do we need? What else do we need? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm going to attach one of these guys up here as well. Um, and then I think we're good, to be honest. Is there anything else we really, really need? I don't know. I guess a way in and out would be good. <laughs> I, I guess a way to get in and out of the tank would be excellent. But uh, we got nothing for it just yet. We got nothing for doing that. I'm going to put this guy right here real quick. Going to do this. Oh, that looks odd. That looks really weird doing that, actually. All right, hang on. Squidge that down. Our way of getting in and out of the tank is going to be here. But we're going to have to lift it off a little bit. There we go. So you get in and out right in front of you. That's only for the driver, though. Everyone else has to get through the actual the the turret. That's really crazy. But yeah, we're going to do it that way. Strange. Anyway, uh, what else do we need to do? So we've got lights on the front. So let's go and add some lights on the rear. We might as well. So we'll add two. There we go. Fantastic. And that's it. That is all I want to do. So let's go to compartments real quick. Go to basket space. We're going to make that a lot bigger. Because we've also got to put some rounds in there as well. So let's grab some of these. There we go. We're going to shove them in there like this. It says they're outside. They are not. It is totally lying. We're going to flip this over. Just like so. Move it inwards. Move it upwards. And we're going to leave it there. Uh, most of these are going to be APHE. In fact, all of them. Because they can be. And that is it. Nice! Oh, this thing looks sick! So, I was thinking this could work out in the desert. We're going to go ahead and give it a... German? I was thinking British, to be honest. I was thinking this thing could be British. So, we're going to go ahead and shove this guy on the side up here like this. Uh, presumably, that's on the other side as well. Yes, it is. And we're also just going to go ahead and shove it there as well. All right, that is what we're going to go with. Do you guys like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments down below. I honestly really rate this. I think it's quite cool. Um, but you guys might think the opposite. Who knows? Anyway, for now, uh, let's go ahead and send it into battle. Okay, so we need to pick an early war scenario. This is an early war scenario. It is worth mentioning, I've built a light tank, so if it does get destroyed pretty quickly, uh, that is because it is a light tank, and it doesn't have very much armor everywhere. So, let's get in there. Oh, this looks weird. The bit at the back looks very, very strange, the fact that I've stepped it like that, but I do feel like, I don't know, it adds a little bit of character. We don't necessarily need that bit right there, so there you go. All right, one shot has been fired, and one kill has been achieved. So that's good. <laughs> right, let's send it. Here we go. I can't ever see the guys in the trees. Someone else has just died. That's fantastic. Let's move in. Let's move in. Oh, is that guy alive right there? Oh, he's already dead. I think he's dead anyway. All right, good. Those guys are dead. Oh. I think that guy might already be dead too. I feel like everybody that I'm actually spotting is already dead. That's insane. This tank is killing everybody. It's working. What, what gun did we even put on this? I think it was a 57. Oh, there we go. First tank to die was actually me. Um, I think it's a 57 millimeter gun with a um, HE, APHE rounds. That's interesting. All right, let's try it. Oh, that guy's dead. He was coming, like, charging at us, and he did die. All right, let's get in there. There's only four of them left. Okay, shots are currently happening. Uh, one of my guys is up there on the hill, just popping off shots downrange, interestingly enough. Um, it does feel like it's got a bit of an auto cannon on it, but honestly, the size of the rounds aren't that big. So, um, 
I don't know. It seems easier to do that. If we get a shot, I might die here. Everybody shoot this guy. Make sure he dies, please. I'm going to try and track him. If I can. There we go. We tracked him. Nice. That might turn him around to try and shoot. I don't know. For my friends to shoot me in the side, I guess. I don't know. Get him, guys. Get him. Is this guy alive? I think that guy's dead. That guy looks very dead. Okay. There's only three of them remaining. I don't know where they are, though. There's one guy right here. He's dead. Okay, cool. I don't know where the other ones are. They must be around here somewhere. They do seem to be shooting at this guy. But maybe there's a guy behind him. Yeah, there is. Oh, I just got shot by my friends. I actually just got shot by my friends. That is a bit of a yikes. All right, we got to go through these. Till we get to the one that is still shooting. Ah. I skipped through too quick. All right, this one. Hey, okay, right. So the enemy is behind my dead tank now. That's a bit of a yikes. Oh, and this guy was just ramming a rock. That's why he didn't go any further. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, this tank can't go over rocks. Who cares? All right, let's get in there. Okay, come on. Over the hill we go. Yes, we're going to have to go around the outside to shoot this guy. And then I think the other guy is actually up there on the hill that we do need to shoot as well. Uh, I don't want to go that way because he will pop me. I'm going to go around this way and hide behind the enemy. And hopefully we can shoot him this way. And hopefully that guy up there doesn't shoot me because that could be an issue too. Ram this tree down. Nice. Well then sneak around the back of this guy and shoot him. I've got no rounds left. <laughs> That's something I should have worked out ages ago. Um, yeah. That is definitely something I should have worked out a long time ago. Wait, one of my guys is in there. He's just taken out someone. Who was it? Was it this guy? No. Was it this guy? No. 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 It might be in this guy. Nope. Not this guy. This one? Not this one. I don't know who just shot that guy, but someone on my team just killed the enemy. I don't know who it was. All of these guys seem to be miles away. That's the one I was stuck with. All right. Well... It might have been this guy. Let's get in there. There's only one left. It shouldn't take this long. Oh, actually, I think it might have been that guy up there. In fact, I don't even see that guy. Oh, there he is. Because he is popping off shots randomly. So, probably that guy. But anyway, uh, I think the last enemy is this guy right here. Uh, which I just missed. But he is... His turret is sideways. Let's try and shoot him now. Three, two, one. Yeah, nice. Nice. Alright, cool. So, my light tank actually works really well in the era it was built for. That's fantastic. That is actually fantastic. Okay, so the next mission we're going to do is the ambush mission. Let's see how well it does here. Now, it was built for early war and this is interwar. But let's go ahead and see if it absolutely hammers through this. Because it might do. It might also get ruined. We'll see. I don't know about an ambush scenario, to be honest. But it is seemingly just killing everybody, so I think we've built a decent tank here. I don't know how it's going to do against the boss tank, though. And that is the only one we have left. None of my guys died. That is ridiculous. Alright, get in there, guys. Come on. In fact, I don't even know where the boss tank is. He hasn't showed up yet. Oh, he's all the way at the back. Ugh. Miles away. Oh, the guy on my left has started taking hits and also started firing back and has destroyed... The boss tank. How in the world did you just do that? I think I've built something that's actually pretty good. Anyway, um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the tank. Let me know if you want to see some more. And let me know if you have any ideas that need building in Sprocket. But for now, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.